Welcome to my house, it's Nicole here. Today's video, we are not going to a nursery. We are staying here in my house and I'm going to show you all my house plan. So we are going to do a house plan tour. the fireplace. Some of the plants are real but some of them are just decoration. For example this English ivy. English ivy was my first house plant however it got infected by the spider mice and right now it's sitting outside of my house of my front porch so it's very very sick and I don't know how to bring it back. I try to use the solutions but they are not really working. So in order to keep the English Ivy soul still in my house, I bought this uh, fake um, English Ivy vine. So I just put it on the decoration. And this one is the ZZ plant cutting from my co-worker. So I got this cutting about three three months ago or two months ago but it's still not rooting out at all so you can see it closely I don't know if it's doing anything or it's going to do something but I just put it into the water and this is how people propagate it and I really hope it can root for me but even though it does not by sitting here, I still think it's a very cool, very beautiful piece of art. And then we have the ZZ plant. ZZ plant is very hardy plant. Look at the glossy leaf. It's, it's just very beautiful. And you don't have to water it a whole lot and it survives. You can put it in a lower light setting. It's still growing very well. But in summertime, I do suggest you guys to take it outdoor if you do have one. I'm going to take mine also in the front porch in order to get more light exposure. So if you look at here, those two are the new leaves, new shoot. And they're so pretty. Look at the neon color. And actually there is another one. It's a baby, well two baby ones. They're also growing. If I take it outdoor or just give it more sun, it will just grow taller for me and I really need that. So this guy is staying here temporarily and it will go outdoor pretty soon. All right, and I will show you the background I use for my YouTube videos. So this is the snake plant. If you watch my previous videos, you probably are very familiar with it. This is the background I use. This is actually a rescue plant I got from Walmart for $3.50. It first got some yellow leaves and some broken leaves. I just took them out and then put it in this pot. And don't judge me, I know this is a big pot for snake plant. I know they like to be uh, root bound a little bit, but I just like it to be in this kind of white pot and right next to my TV. So. Well, at least it's growing. So this guy, when I first got it, it was this tall. I was so surprised it grew that much, like literally that much within three months. I got it at the end of February or early March, and right now it's the end of May. So I really feel like spring is a magical time for plants. It brings life back. and make them grow faster and taller. So I'm very happy and this one is also a new shoot. I don't know if you guys can see it. And my snake, so this is my east side windows and my snake plant is about 10 to 15 feet. I would say 12 to 15 feet away from my east side windows. So it doesn't get a lot of light, but it's still growing very well. I'm very happy. 
So here we are walking into my dining room. I only have one plant in my dining room because this is the west side window and you can see this corner and this corner they're not very bright. So this one is the Monstera Deliciosa. I really like this plant. It's also called the cheese plant. I got it from Lowe's $14.99 and it's very beautiful. This one is actually the new leaves. Um, it opened up about three weeks ago and another leaf also opened up about two weeks ago and I am so so excited look at this guy it's just perfect and then and this leaf is starting to get more mature so it started to get a little holes inside for me and the newer leaves will grow taller and even bigger than the previous leaves so compare this one and this one. This one is slightly larger. And it's so beautiful. I'm just very happy to have it. And um, I probably need to get a moss pole very soon because Monstera Deliciosa in nature, they climb up a tree so they can grow very, very tall. But now they don't have anything to climb. They just grow wider and wider. And I kind of want them to grow taller, you know, so and then we are going to my another dining room right next to my kitchen. So this is my kitchen area behind me. This is the west side window and this is the south side windows. So this is the room in this house that got most of the sunlight and that's why I put most of my plants here and it all, I also hang out here quite often. So I got my most of my plants sitting in this shelf and I got this huge bird of paradise from Costco for $27.99 actually a few days ago. And if you check out your local Costco, they probably still have some. And they also have a lot of majestic palms if you are interested in that kind. And then right here, I got this uh, rubber plant, variegated rubber plant, and two different plants right here. But we will come back here. So let's back to the shelf. This is my Philodendron Brazil. It is so pretty. I got it from the flower farm. Um, I will link the video up here if you haven't watched this video. It's so pretty, so lush. And I paid $3.99 for this guy. I just really like the foliage. It's like the green and neon color. It just brightens up the area so well. And then this also my new plant, my Pilea peperomia, aka the Chinese money plant. It's just so cute, so adorable. So this is the new leaf, that's why it's curl. And those two are the new leaves too. And this one, that baby leaf also coming out. I'm very excited. When I first bought this guy, it also comes with seven babies and I'm propagating them. And they are living right here. This is my propagation area and I will show you guys later. And then those are some succulents. I don't think they're doing very well. I rescued them from Home Depot. They were just bare root sitting out on the ground. So I pick it up and asked the staff if I can take it home and they said sure. So I took them home like two months ago. I did not give them a lot of water but I don't know why. It's just not doing very well and losing leaf. I don't know if it will make it. This is my marble cream pothos. I really really like it. Look at the color of the foliage. It's basically very light yellow light green with a little bit green it's just so pretty and i really like pothos because they're just so easy to care for you don't need to 
water them a whole lot and you can also put them in a lower light condition it will be fine so I like easy plants and then this is the begonia plant that I got from my plant swap event um, when I first got it it actually just a cutting it doesn't have any wood and this is the new leaf it was not here before so now I'm pretty sure it's developing some roots and it's growing and it's been here with me for about a month so it's very pretty and I really hope it can grow well and even though the edge of the leaves kind of crispy begonia is kind of the plant that needs some high humidity so I don't know if it will grow well in my house because I only have one humidity fire and I only put it in my bedroom so I don't know that's why I like potho because it doesn't really need humidifier and I also don't like the plants that you get it and then it will die because of the temperature or because of the humidity is not good enough you know so and I don't want to spend the money buying a plant that only looks pretty for a month and then die that is very sad and this beauty is the variegated arrowhead variegated syngolium it is super cute and here is the new growth can you see it right here and this leaf is unfurling halfway through very excited and another new leaf going to come out I should probably put it in a different place because you can tell it's not high enough for it and then let's move down to this shelf this is the African violet I got from a friend at work it's very beautiful but I don't know why the edges of the leaves just started to turn yellow just the browning tips I have no idea I tried to repot it and kind of separate it once but it's still doing the same thing and here is flowering I like African violet because they can flower and stay bloom for a couple months at least so the when you see the flowers the color of the flowers are fading off that means probably it's time to trim it it will help to get more flowers out actually the next plant is my Peperomia obtrusifolia this is also a rescue plant I got it from Audi for $4.99 or $5.99 it's very beautiful when I got to Audi this was the only plant left and the leaves were very droopy I kind of figured out it was because of lack of water so I decided to take it home because of a rescue plan and also the leaves not performing very well I was able to ask them to give me a discount so I got it for $2.99 and when I gave, gave it some water after I got home they just perked up and they're doing well and I just put it see um, five four feet four feet from my west side windows and it's doing very well and I order only water it when the soil gets completely dry and then another puzzle this is the golden potho I also got this potho from my plant swap event about a month ago this is the new leaf if you touch it it's like thinner and softer than the other ones so I, when I got it from the plant swap event it only has four leaves I believe and now it got seven leaves so a lot of them are new and right here I think there's a new one will come out pretty soon I'm very excited and it's growing oh I just love spring and summer 
and now it's sitting on my shelf and I really hope uh, probably the end of the summer or fall it can grow bigger and be able to trail down for me and then I can put it by my fireplace it has a very beautiful green trail down and that is my goal and this one is my Monstera Adamsonia I got it from the flower farm for $3.99 I know the, the price is crazy this leaf is unfurling and I'm just very excited and this guy look at it look at the size of the leaf compared to my hand it's basically the same size and this is a new one going to come out yeah I'm just very excited it's a very beautiful plant and this pot I got it from Dollar Tree um, Dollar Tree is still selling some gardening stuff if you're looking for some cheap pots this one is slightly larger than this one and it's also from Dollar Tree and the quality is amazing if you don't like the color they also have green and clay color you can choose from or you can just paint it now we are going to look at the plants on the bottom shelf the bottom shelf basically is my propagation area so remember I said when I bought this Pilea peperomia, I also got seven babies. So this is one of the babies. I separate them. One, two, three right here is pretty cute. Four, five, six. Where's the seventh one? I probably too small than I throw away, I think. Like even smaller than this one and I believe it got damaged while I separate them this is the curly bunny spider plants I actually have three of them and I got them for free from Walmart hold on hold on so when I went to Walmart like months ago and I also did a video if you guys are interested I will link it up there so I they were selling it for $15 I think it's a pretty good price because it's a it, it was in an 8 inch or 10 inch pot it's just so pretty so lush and it has some babies hanging down so I asked the staff can I get the babies like I'm not going to damage the plants can I just want to get those little babies and they said sure so I got three babies and I water propagate them and when I see some roots coming out and I decided to put them into the soil and look at this actually there were three new leaves I know it's hard to tell but it's growing and I'm just so happy because I really enjoy watching a plant from a baby to grow up it's very satisfying and it just makes me fulfilled you know you know that feeling and I have another one Bonnie curly spider plants right here I'm going to give it to a friend and I have another one and it's a small one right here I think they're all growing because I see some new leaves and then this guy I actually separated from this variegated arrowhead I'm also going to give it to my friend Jenny at work she's very nice she gave me the um, ZZ plant cutting and a lot of cuttings oh and this one string of beads I also got the cutting from her when I got the cutting I just take some beads off and put it directly to soil and when I transport it to this pot a month no two weeks ago I was so surprised like when I tried to pull it out it actually got stuck there because they root out I did not expect it I only put them in soil for only one month so very happy and they're growing longer and longer and I just cannot wait to put it into a bigger pot but it's still staying in this pot right now because I think it doesn't need to be in a bigger pot, you know? So, 
and this one is the J plant. J plant is also a super hardy plant. I talk about it in my um, five plants for travelers or beginners video. I just really like it. I got this from uh, from a plant swap event. I just love to go to plant swap event, you know. It's like free, but you get different varieties from other people and you also get to make friends. You know who in your area also are plant lovers and you get to talk to them, communicate with them and I just really enjoy that. And yeah, this is my J plant, little J plant. And finally, I got this uh, Marble Queen Pothos. This is also a baby from this guy. I just separate them when I repotted it and also going to give it to a friend. I just like to be able to see the plants that growing out babies because I like to give it to people. I like to see the happiness on their face. It's also, they also make me very happy. This is the Hawaiian Plumera. I got it from the city annual plant cell. When I first got it, it did not have any leaves. Seriously, it only lo it looks like a um, just a cucumber or asparagus. Nothing here. With the temperature increase and also the humidity, I also take it out pretty often, pretty much every day. And now it has some leaves coming out. Look at this. And those two right here, they're also the new shoot. I don't think it will flower for me this year because usually plumeras, it will take about two to three years for them to grow. And then the next, the following year, it will flower. But this one, the seller told me is going to produce white plumera flowers. So very excited. And in winter time, you have to take it indoors, otherwise it will die. It's a tropical and subtropical plant. And in winter time, after you take it indoor, the leaves will gradually fall off. This is all natural. They're going dormant. But when spring comes, they just, life comes back. And of course, this is my huge bird of paradise. I'm in love with this guy. It's huge. I am five feet one, and this guy is like six, seven feet, and so, so, so tall. I'm just very in love with this guy. When I sit here, I just feel like I am in a tropical area. I am in the jungle. I just like that feeling. It just brings me back and reminds me of my hometown because I'm from China, the south part of China. So I see the bird of paradise and palms and plum plumera. They're just everywhere in my hometown. I really like to, yeah, just look at it every day and talk to it. <laughs> yes, I seriously talk to it every day. So like I said, I got it from Costco, $27.99. I think it's a very good deal. I've been to some local nursery. They were asking for $150. Or if you go to the big box store, Walmart has it. Um, Walmart is selling them way smaller with some annual plants on the side. And they are asking for $100. It's very expensive. So if you want to get a bird of paradise, with this size and reasonable price, I think Costco um, would be a good place to visit. And Bird of Paradise will flowers. So after this video, I'm going to take it outdoor. It really needs about five to six hours in direct or even direct sunlight. So, so that they can flower. If they don't get enough sunlight, they will not grow taller or they will not flower at all. So this is one thing that you need to remember if you do plan to get a bird of paradise in the near future. And then we are going back to this corner.
This is the rubber plant. Also very hardy and I got this plant about two weeks or three weeks ago from Home Depot and can you believe for this size of rubber plant and I only paid $12.89 I think it's a very good deal and that's why I got it and it also has some new leaves so if you can see right here the sun is hitting the sunlight is hitting on it it's lighter color this is a new leaf it actually opened it up one day ago and this is also a newer leaf it's just very pretty lighter color and then this one also a new leaf and right here it's kind of hard to see it's also a new leaf and then here is a new leaf coming out and here is going to open up so this guy is growing very happily and I just have nothing to say about it it's perfect it needs a lot of sunlight indirect sunlight I just put it by this corner and it's pretty happy and right next to my rubber plant I also have this variegated rubber plant I got it from the flower farm nursery I did a nursery tour if you're interested I will link it up here and also in the description below so this one is smaller than this guy of course but this is a new leaf is opening up so I'm very very excited um, you can see the leaf right here is kind of pink and red color and here they kind of fade off and more yellow or lighter uh, pink color so it's just it's just beautiful and if you look at the pattern of the leaves the marking it looks like a piece of art like the paint very very cute right next to my rubber plant is my Monstera Stenoyala elbow variegata plant it's beautiful and I brag about it on Instagram a lot so this is the plant that I got from the flower farm I paid $3.99 and on Etsy for five leaves the seller were asking for $98 so how many leaves does this guy have it's just very very beautiful if you look at the foliage look at the white color right here and this leaf and also this leaf it's like half green and half white I just love the variegation and it's growing very well this one is a new leaf and here another new leaf is coming out and right here this guy is also a new leaf it seems very happy with the place that is staying so I'm going to leave it right here and right in this white pot I actually have three plants and they're kind of outdoor plants but I still want to share with you what I have so real quick this is the peony tree I know it's, it's tiny but it will grow big um, I got this peony tree from the plant swap event that I went to a month ago and it's going to have white flowers I need to uh, really plant them in my front yard so that it can have a bigger space to grow so yeah I'm very excited and I have another plant this one I got the cutting this is a dragon fruit cutting I got it from a friend on Facebook so she is very kind she shared some cutting with me and I'm, I need to repot it pretty soon and hopefully this weekend I can find some time this one is the jasmine plant I also got it from the flower farm and I paid $15 of it so if you live in a more southern area jasmine plant is can be a perennial but for me I have to bring it back in winter time 
I just love the smell of jasmine. It's just so soothing and so relaxing. So that's why I got it. And it has some flower buds here. And it already flowers for um, a couple of weeks. So that's why you see the dead buds here. I really need to trim it off. And I put it in this big pot because I take it outdoor. But when it gets windy and the whole plant will just yeah, I don't want that. So I keep it in this pot. And this is the pot that I talk about in my Walmart plant shopping video. I got it from Walmart. It is two, 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 two 2.5 gallon pot. And I only pay 13 or $14 of it. It's a ceramic pot, very good quality. And I think it's a very good deal. So I put my plants this jasmine plant here because I don't have enough space that's why I put it right here for now and when I take it outdoor they will just like stay on my deck and this three plants will go outdoor and also my bird of paradise will go outdoor pretty soon that's it for today. I really hope you guys like this video. If you have any topics that want me to talk about, please leave the comment down below. And also tell me what is your favorite house plan. I really want to know. And again, this is a very small channel and I really need your support. If you haven't subscribed, please consider to subscribe. I will really, really appreciate it. And again, I'm very active on Instagram. I post on Instagram two to four times a day. And if I find some good deals on um, Home Depot, Walmart, or different places, I also post live videos there. So if you haven't followed me, my name is right here. And that's it for today and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Next, this one is... What is this? Jasmine. Jasmine. Oh my goodness! That's gonna be on YouTube. Your husband has to correct you. <laughs>